Tron XY PLA Filament Review, Coffee Brown 1.75. Hey guys, I have been so busy that I've had boxes of filament sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks and I just haven't had a chance to get to it because I've been remodeling and getting ready to move. But I wanted to tr test some of the cheaper filaments. This is the Tron XY PLA in coffee. It was the cheapest filament that I could find on GearBest. And I think I paid like 23 bucks. So I'm gonna open it up, check it out, and give it a shot, see how it prints. So out of the box, it's nicely sealed. They look like they're using the same spools that the Tanese filament is using. And this is, uh, it's one kilogram. And I think I paid $23 and the coffee color must not be very popular. Um, so we're gonna give the Tron filament a try. I've got some parts for my CNC routers that I need to print out. And uh, we're just gonna give it a shot right now. So uh, I'll load it up on the printer and here we go. I opened it up and I smelled it and it doesn't smell like typical PLA. It has like a Play-Doh smell to it. And I don't know if that's the bag or maybe they're blend. But I'm gonna run it up on my XYZ printer because that's the one that's free right now. So. All right, I've been at work all day and uh, the plastic is great. There's some stringing and that's the printer's fault. I can't blame the, the actual print itself for that. So pretty happy with this. Looks fantastic. Okay, I haven't cleaned them up yet. And the flaws that I'm seeing are directly related to the printer. The plastic, except, the plastic itself really came out nice. Um, this is PLA, I printed at 205, 50% infill, and this is a piece that I'll be using for my CNC routers. And uh, man, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, for dirt cheap PLA, it really printed pretty nice. So I'm gonna clean this up. Just to show you, this is support material, and it came out just perfect very light but it still adhered very good plastic i for what i paid i would recommend this stuff in a heartbeat this is a fairly complex print with some uh, i did use supports and stuff but no problems no warpage uh doesn't look like it has any adhesion problems well that worked out great but one print doesn't tell you everything you need to know so i'm going to print a couple other things and we'll see how it does all right i just pulled it off the printer so this is that coffee color, otherwise known as duty brown. And I haven't pulled any of the uh, supports out. A Little bit of stringing, but that's the printer. That has nothing to do with the filament. And you can see it adhered perfectly. I mean, that's perfectly adhered together. And so I'm gonna have to rate this uh, Tron XY filament as a real decent value. For fun, I wanted to print a piece of uh, higher detail terrain for a project I'm working on with some friends and I printed out at uh, 215 which it printed fantastic um, there there was some contamination but that was my fault not the, not the PLA or the printers and uh, this was printed at 10% and it just came out fantastic this is a little piece of gaming terrain it worked equally well on my monoprice Delta with great adhesion to the build plate You can see that this supplied STL came out perfect. I printed this linear bearing at 210 degrees and 35% infill. It came out perfect. I tried this PLA on multiple printers at multiple temperatures and had nothing but fantastic results. I can recommend it to anyone looking for a quality budget filament. If you'd like to pick some up, you can find it in my link below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.